Hello again. Just thought we could review a couple changes to the new release of Field 360 version 4.1. So a couple people have already asked me what this LWPO means that now shows up on some of the project thumbnails. That simply stands for lightweight preview only, which indicates whether or not the entire project resides on the tablet iPad. What this means is if you're using a BLK360 G1, the entire project will be on the iPad, so it will not say this. If you're using the G2, you have the option of leaving it on the iPad or I'm sorry, leaving it on the scanner or transferring the entire project to the iPad. If you leave the entire project on the scanner, it will say LWPO. If you transfer it all the iPad, that icon will be gone. That just helps you understand what you previously chose. On the RTC 360, it'll pretty much always say LWPO. So let's open Training Room 1 project and take a look at another change that I'm pretty excited about. So you see this project looks like a typical project in the past. Scans 1 through 5 are linked in an open-ended fashion. But now you have the option to add links, redundant links, and loop closures. So let's create a link here from uh, scan 2 to 5 to close the link. And first of all, you'll notice right off that you're getting more detail populating into this visual alignment for the cloud to cloud than you previously had options otherwise. But you also now have the slicer tool, and this allows you to run a visual slicer up and down, much like you can in Register 360, QAQC slicer tool. And you can also use the plus and minus buttons here above and below it to change the thickness of this slice. And then make sure your, slide, your uh, clouds are aligned correctly and hit optimize. create this link so that we now have a closed loop of scans. So let's go ahead and create a link from setup one to four, star alignment, optimize. Create link and we'll do one last one just for the sake of demonstration, star alignment. Three to five, optimize. Create that link. And if you notice now this bundle is highlighted, it says selected bundle is not optimized. So to optimize our redundant links and take advantage of that, you just click the bundle explorers button. In the bundle explorer view, you click the three dots on the bundle itself. And at the very top, you say optimize bundle. So now it has calculated the best fit for all of the redundant constraints. Thank you.